We aren't going to go into how the whole DNS protocol works. However, it is important to know that all the name and IP address mappings are cached locally. This is done for speed and efficiency. So the next time you go to putorius.net, the DNS resolver can read its local cache instead of doing a lookup over the internet. Sometimes it is necessary to flush the DNS cache of your system. Maybe the IP address of the system you are trying to reach has changed? If so, you need to flush your local DNS cache or you will not be able to reach it. In this Linux quick tip we will teach you how to easily flush local DNS cache to ensure you are getting current information. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Most modern Linux systems like Ubuntu, Red Hat, Debian, Fedora, and Arch use System D. System D Resolve D is the daemon that runs the local DNS resolver. It also provides tools to interact with the daemon from the command line. Two of the most widely used tools are Resolve CTL and System D Resolve. Typically System D Resolve is just a symbolic link to Resolve CTL. I personally prefer Resolve CTL because of the easier syntax and the similarity to other System D tools. First, let's check the cache on our system. We do this by using the Resolve CTL command followed by the statistics option. Here we use grep to show us only the cache stats. To flush the local DNS cache, use Resolve CTL followed by the flush caches option like so. Now we can check the statistics again and see the current cache size is zero. This means the cache is now empty or flushed. That's it. You just flushed the local DNS cache on your Linux system. Here is an example doing the same operations using system D resolve. As you can see the syntax is a little different and it's a bit more keystrokes. Again, I prefer Resolve CTL for this reason and because it more closely resembles other tools provided for controlling System D. I hope this Linux quick tip provided you with some value. If you enjoyed this video please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Also, you can always visit putorius.net to read the text version of this tutorial.